Hello everyone, this is Saturday, and yes, I am exhausted. This has been a long day. The craft fair, although I met some wonderful people out there, which I did, there were some great vendors, it was a total bomb. The only people that showed up and that was buying were other vendors. I think we had a total of maybe five cars that were not vendors that came through the whole day. I am beginning to think they did not advertise and people did not even know that it was there. Um, I, I don't know what to think because it was totally the opposite of what we experienced at the same place in October. But, you know, sometimes things like this happens. Um, it, it, <laughs> it was a long process, and, um, uh, I'm actually glad it's over. I was not able to do a video for the last two nights, because I was trying to get everything together and finishing up little things, and I can tell you what I did sell. They were all, it was all jewelry. Now, I did sell the, the necklaces that I made with the mixed mold pendants that I showed on my um, video. I sold every one of those. And um, I added essential oils to them. And uh, I sold them as aromatherapy uh, necklaces. And I wished I'd had more because I, I could have sold every one of those. Um, Tonight is going to be a uh, haul video. This is a, a gift I received from Tea Expert. I knew it was coming. Uh, it was quick. I mean, they, they did this quick. I was so happy because I had just run out of their crystal clear resin. And I really like Tea Expert's resin. Um, and I had the gallon uh, in the pump that I bought. Um, and I just ran out of it and they sent me a, a an email asking me if I would like to review their new silicone uh, rubber mold kit and I thought oh yes I would love to do that and they said thank you and we're also sending you a gallon of the tea expert uh, crystal clear and oh I was I was thrilled because um, I had that on my Amazon wish list and uh, so I think that's what's in here along with their new silicone um, mold rubber kit, which I am not doing any kind of craft tonight. I will show you, and then tomorrow I'll probably do a review on their silicone uh, mold kit. They will have a coupon code. I don't have it yet, but I will uh, email them and ask them for a code. And they told me that they would send a code for y'all. Uh, for a discount. Oh, yes, yes, and yes. Oh, look at that. I got the pumps. Let me see if I can't take this down. Oh, uh, and put it over here. And I pulled the resin out so you can see it. There's the resin. Each one is a half a gallon. Total is a gallon. <laughs> and it does come with the pumps. And that's what it is right there. And, and I do really, really like this stuff. And it's set right up here. Until I ran out. <laughs> so it's going right back up here again. And I will put the pumps back in it and open it up. Uh, and get that ready to use not right this second but and then this is the tea expert silicone mold making kit 63.48 ounces I'm just reading the um, the package this is new to me just like it, it says new just like it will be new to you. I 
and we'll take it out. Okay, and the only thing that is in here is the silicone rubber. And it does come with an instruction. It is one, um, mixing ratio, one by one by weight. And that doesn't mean volume, that means weight, so you have to, to weigh it. Curing time is 12 to 24 hours. And um, I'm reading. I'm saying what it says. Okay. And we will try this. Uh, and they will. It says non-toxic, no odor, bubble-free, flexible, and durable. We'll find all that out. And uh, I'm hoping tonight will be the last night I use a phone for my uh, filming. Yes, I ordered me a Mother's Day present. <laughs> that's horrible when I have to order my own Mother's Day present, isn't it? And that's what I told everybody. I said I ordered a Mother's Day gift for myself. And uh, I said it is uh, a video camera. And I'm hoping, it's according to Amazon, it's supposed to be here tomorrow, but Amazon doesn't have a real good track record lately. And so I'll be surprised if I get it tomorrow. It's not showing shift yet, which tells me that it, it won't get here tomorrow. But if it does, I will be filming uh, the next video uh, with the, uh, the video camera. And I'm hoping it will be so much better. Okay, this is Timu. I got two Timu orders from... Oh, and I got so excited. Speaking of, you know, TX for it, I am so thankful that they contacted me because I love trying new products and I, I really do like TX for stuff. I just, I, I know it's a, uh, it's a resin that a lot of people don't really use. And to be quite honest, I prefer it over Let's Resin. I do. Now, that's just my preference, but I do. Uh, I prefer it over Let's Resin. As you can see, see, I have Let's Resin setting over here. <laughs> It's been, it was setting over here the whole time that I had uh, the T Expert. I got them both at the same time. I ran out of the T Expert, and I still have uh, a lot of the Let's Resin left, and it's the same. It was the one half gallon each tub. So, you know, that tells you right there I used the T Expert a lot more. So, I was very, very happy that they sent that to me. And the silicone rubber, I'm excited about trying. Because TX tends to be a little bit less expensive than Let's Resin, which is always nice. Okay, we're going to open this. Oh, uh, and I did take a small video uh, of my booth set up. Now, I don't know if I can get it added to this video, then I'll add it and it will be at the end. If it's not at the end, then you know that I couldn't get it added. Um, okay. I got more color pigments for my mixed amount. Look at all these yellows. I got all sorts of yellows and oranges. And I need to make more of those caddy things. Oh, yeah, and I got more. You look at that pink. Yeah, I got pinks, pinks, and pinks. Passion purple. Purple red. I don't know what all these colors are. Ooh, tangerine. Yeah, I see, I got a lot of new colors. And I got these little spray bottles and I hope they're what I was looking for. Something tells me they're not though. Hmm. 
I wanted a fine mist bottle to use when I was doing alcohol inks. Nope. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I'll let you know when I fill stuff up with it. And one is a little bit bigger than the other. And I think I paid like 90... I paid 98 cents each for these. But then I got a credit back of 30 something cents on each one. So I ended up... I think the total cost was like 59 cents uh, after the credit. And yes, I don't know if you remember these. But Laura sent me some that she had already done. And I loved them. I made magnets uh, out of them and put them in my refrigerator. And I, I wanted the mold, and she told me she got it at Timu. So, yeah, I'm excited about using this. Because I really, really liked them. So, thank you, Laura. And I, I did get the mold. Okay. And then someone on our Facebook group... Oh, this is not the right thing. That's not the face mold. What did they sent me? That is weird looking. What is that called? There's no name. This is not the right mold. What is that? Can y'all tell me what that is? Because it sure is not what I ordered. That looks like knuckles. What is that? Okay, I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to say, because that... I'm looking to see. It shows it as a face, but that is not the same face mold. I don't think it's the same face mold. That looks weird. But I'll pour it and, and see. But I don't think I'm going to like that. But who knows. Okay, here we go. Here's the next one. And I don't even remember what's in this one. Chameleon powder, blue, purple, red. Okay, let's open it and see if there's a top on it, then I'm not. Oh, goodness. Is it taped? It won't come off. Oh, wow. Look at the top on these. Oh, this is cool. Look at this, y'all. Oh, I like the top on this. Oh, I'm going to have to save that top. Look at there. Oh, that's the coolest thing ever. Yes, I've never seen a top like that before. I like these. I, and I can save those. And that way I can use because I've got jars like this. But I think there's a set of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And these are chameleon powders. 
and I paid $7.79 for those. And yes, this is another mold. And no, I did not have this one. Contrary to popular belief, I do not own every mold that Timu has. This is the elephant planter. With the trunk up. That will be cute to do. This is metallic alcohol ink. Yep, and I wanted to try these with the mixed mold. the whole thing off. Oh wow, there's several. What is that? Instructions? Oh my word. Seriously? Please shake the paint bottle well before use because the nozzle and release the art dye. Pour the mixed transparent water drops into the mold. Oh! And dye the color essence into the water drops. What? Add a few more layers. The collision of multiple colors makes the effect more gorgeous. Notice this product needs to be used with AB glue to achieve a colorful effect. What is AB glue? This product needs to be purchased separately. Please wear gloves and protective clothing before use. It is normal to have sediment in the color essence. Do not drink and keep away from children. Okay, oh, crisis. And um, this is all in different languages. Well, what does that mean? A B glue. Are they calling resin glue? Ooh. This is all metallic. This is wine red. Ooh, silver gray. Yeah, we're going to have to try these. Not tonight, y'all. I am so tired. I am exhausted. But I wanted to get this out. Ruby red. Ooh, yeah. See, I'm excited. Green gold. Bronze. Coffee. Uh, dark gray and deep gold are the colors in here and yes I want to try these okay what do we have here uh, okay this is smaller than I thought it was Yes, I got it to use on my videos to showcase and let it go round and round and round in the video with the product setting on. Yeah, and I chose the mirror. Yes, I did. I chose the mirror one. You could have you could have got the suede one, but I chose the mirror. And I'm trying to get this undone so I can show if I can get it undone. Well, I'll tell you, my fingers are not wanting to work today. And I like the fact that it's a cord and not a plug. I have so many plugs. But I always have at least one cord open. 
Oh, cool. I think we're supposed to light up there. Guess not. But see, I don't. Yeah, I don't even have anything I can put on there. Just put this thing on there. Let's see. When I get through, I can I can make it look nice and with the lighting and do it that way. That's awfully fast. Whoa. Okay, that's slower. Yeah, that's slower. And that way you can see all the way around. And of course it's dirty right now and, and I will clean that. Wow, it is really dirty. But yeah, I got that and I'm I'm sort of happy with that. And you you don't have to use this. You can put batteries. If you want to put batteries in it, I'm going to set this over here. Okay. And yes, this is a mold. Can you all tell that I'm tired? I don't have the same ex excitement that I normally do, do I? That's from having a crafter that was a flop. <laughs> Which, you know, I know that happened. So, I, you know, you just have to take the good with the bad. That's all part of the process. Okay. This is a box. It has a definite odor to it. And I have no idea that's the two sides, but look at the top. See, that's going to be pretty. That is going to be pretty, and I am going to do that in resin. Keep all this stuff together. Okay. And oh, these are bigger mushrooms, and I didn't get the stamp. Oh, yes, I did. Okay. These are bigger than what I thought they were. I thought these were smaller, but that's okay. I have these. It's like the mushroom family. And I think I already have that too, but I couldn't find these. Okay. And then of course I bought another one of these mold and Rose is sending me her method she's sending me the pipes and everything and the base and and I'm going to pour three of these to my and it's hers is on a lazy Susan type thing and it spins and each one spins which I think is going to be so cool and so I ordered this before she told me about it uh, so I could pour two at a time, which I'm glad now because I need, I need a bunch of these because I've got a bunch. You can put your resin in there. You can put, it's not just the pigment colors. And so, yeah, I'll probably pour about 10 of these. And since I've got two at a time, it will be easier for me to do so. Now... 
this is all glow in the dark. Now, I ordered this before I ordered the stuff off of Etsy. And, and this is all color glow in the dark. Look at that. Of course, it doesn't tell you what color on the white. Is that just regular glow in the dark? Because you got pinks and oranges and yellows and greens and blue. So I don't know. But I thought that would be fun to do. So, yep, these are all glow in the dark. There's no instructions or anything. Oh, it says you can apply the powder to the surface of the mold. Or add it to the glue and stir. So they are calling the AB glue resin, which is weird to me. Okay, and my, the last thing. Ooh, I like these. The last thing I got are those. And I sort of like these. I sort of wish I'd bought more. And I don't really use popsicle sticks for resin, but I do use them for the mix to mold. So I will put these in my drawer. Boy, you get a bunch of them. Which is cool. But these are the glasses. And I will get them out and show you. I'm trying to get all the sticks out. I'm going to just throw them in my drawer. Put them right there. I don't remember how many you got. Let's see. These are 60 mils. 60 mls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I thought I got 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They shorted me to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, they didn't short me any. But the eight, it's a total of 50. And I'll show you. And this is the reason why I got these. A lot of time they're 2 ounces, okay? A lot of time that's all I need. But you see how flexible they are? They're not going to crack. And that's, And they would be reusable. And that's the reason why I got those. And I paid three dollars and ninety-eight cents for fifty of them. And I am happy with those. Yep, I am very, very happy with those. Alrighty, I don't think this is gonna be a very long video, and I'm gonna try to add the. Uh, the, the clip of the uh, my booth uh, once it got set up on the the end I hope I can do that if not I am so sorry um, but at least I tried um, I missed doing a video I'm glad I'm back I will be doing one and I'll, tomorrow I'll get back in the swing of it and um, one thing I wanted to put out there now I've got hundreds of pair of earrings I was selling them for three dollars a pair today and I think I probably would have sold out if we'd had any any buddy come through there I sold probably about ten pair to vendors today and um, I don't know if anybody's interested in them and I'm not going to individually list those it would take way too long so my thought process was if someone is interested in the polymer most of them are polymer clay some of them are resin but the majority of them are polymer clay some are studs some are dangles some are funky some are you know normal some are contemporary some are you know they're all different styles 
my thought process process was if somebody was interested and if they wanted at least four pairs if not five that the earrings I would send for free but you would have to send five dollars for the shipping and that would be ground advantage and I know that I could probably ship at least four pair for that anywhere in the United States so if there's anybody out there that is in, interested in getting four pair of the earrings I got hundreds of them and I'm trying to clear them out four pair for just the cost of shipping which would be five dollars basically I'm just rounding it off because that's a fair even number some of them will only cost like four fifty two some of them might cost five dollars and fifteen cents depending where in the country you are but that's a good round even number and so you're basically getting the earrings for free and just paying for shipping and if you're if you're interested in that let me know and um, you could just send uh, you could send the five dollars through the the buy me a coffee thing tell me it's for the earrings give me your address and I would send them to you that way. Um, and I won't be making any money off of them. But I'd rather offer them to y'all that way than donate them to a thrift store or something like that. Um, but I do want to clear them out. Uh, I have had them. Some of them are fairly new. Some of them I've done actually on my YouTube videos. But the majority of them are at least a year old. And some of them may be two years old. There's holidays. There's And it would be a mixture. You could not tell me which ones of which you would want. That would be too difficult. I would just make up bags of them and and i would just pick up a, a sealed bag i wouldn't even know what was in each bag and and ship them off and if that's something that y'all are interested in let me know if not that's okay uh, uh, i'm not making anything off of it but i just thought i'd offer it to y'all if that's something that that you would like so just let me know in the comments and then we can go from there uh but I am going to end the video. I am ready to go upstairs, get off my feet, and sort of chill out for a few hours. And I, I can tell you I will probably be in bed early tonight. And start the day again tomorrow, and hopefully with a video. I'm, I'm sort of excited about that, being able to do a, a video with a video camera. Alrighty, as always, Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being so supportive. I feel blessed that I have the, the followers and the subscribers that I have here on YouTube. I am very, very grateful. I'm going to ask you to do the thumbs up like button for me. If you've not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. The Facebook group, the description, the link to the Facebook group is in the description uh, below, along with the Amazon wish list, the buy me a coffee, the link to the Michaels website for the mix to mold, the only affiliate link I have, which is for eye candy. Uh, I do make a little bit off of that, not a whole lot, but a little bit off of the eye candy if you go through my affiliate link. And I love their product. I really do. And I want to thank each and every one of you that are using the affiliate link. Uh, and I know you are because they send me an email and let me know. Uh, I don't know who is doing it. I just know somebody's doing it. So thank you. And that is in the description below also. And also the link to the the colorants I use on Timu and the colorants I use from J. Diction Resin Crate. That, uh, where I buy them on Amazon, that's in the description. Um, I'm trying to think of, I will add a description, um, not a description, but I will add a link to the T-Expert Epoxy. Now, I won't have a code for that, 
but I'm going to put the link in there just in case you're interested in checking it out. When I get a code, uh, I will contact them probably tomorrow and say, look, I'm fixing to do a video. I need a code. It may take a couple of days. But when they send me the code is when I'll go ahead and do the video on it. And there will be a code for a discount for, uh, off the silicone mold making kit. And that will be in the description too when that happens. And I think that's it. If I'm leaving something out, let me know. But I, I think that covers everything. I hope y'all are having a, a, a good night. I hope y'all have a fantastic Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, and um, I will see. I'm so tired. I forgot what I was saying. Uh, I will. I will see you again tomorrow. All right, y'all. Thank you again. Bye bye. Oh, how do I turn this off? I've already forgot. Hey everybody, okay, it's not open yet, but I've got it set up. Y'all wanted me to show you setting it up, but there is no way. But this, this is, this is it. And I will film periodically throughout the day. Hey, Cora, say hello. That's my granddaughter. She came today. I can tell y'all I'm exhausted already. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep worth a poot. And this is Ashley's booth. She's right next to me. I don't know if y'all have ever seen Ashley's uh, purses that she makes. Yeah, I ran out of room, so I stuck a few things of mine over here. <laughs> she, she sews all this. Here's her wallet. I don't know where she is right now, but. Alrighty. Oh, my, my granddaughter did this. Isn't this cool for the letters? I thought so. Alrighty. I'll check back in periodically during the day, and you'll see me later on tonight. Bye for now.